All right, good evening, yeah. what up? Sorry, I'm late. I was parked in at my building and I had trouble finding the person that parked me in. So, uh, anyways, again, my apologies. So, uh, today is the uh, September, I think it's 7th, yeah. meeting of the planning board. I'm going to call the meeting uh, to order. I'm going to appoint David Josco as a full voting member. Um, and on the agenda tonight is noticing changes. Um, so, um, has everyone had a chance to read the noticing changes? Okay. All right. Great. Uh, is everyone, uh, anyone have any comments on the noticing changes? Everyone will have to go through. What's that? Everyone will have to go through. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do, do you want to open a public hearing and see if the public wants to... Sure, I was going to, uh, yes, okay, so um, I'm going to open this for the public hearing. Are there any members of the public that wish to comment on the proposed noticing changes? I don't see anyone except for our faithful uh, camera people in the back. I have no idea what the noticing changes about are. About posting so. in the paper. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, I think posting. But yeah, it was fine. elimination of the Fosters. post. Yeah, the the newspaper notification. Oh, um, okay. Which we can do as per RSA six seven six four. I don't get the paper anyway, so that's okay. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people do anymore. All right. Well, I think I'm going to then close the public hearing. Um, are there any uh, anyone want to comment as members of the board? Um. I was going to make a suggestion, and whoever makes the motion, that we um, say that we're going to eliminate the newspaper notification requirement, and instead, you know, we'll post these, and do we want to maybe perhaps specify three places, three public spots that they'll definitely get posted each time? I think you could, but I think you can also just say, you know, as per current standard town noticing procedures, because the town does that already for regular meetings. Yeah. So uh, well, by all means, yes, let's list them, but I think it's also maybe worth saying, or just it could be enough to say as per regular requirements. So the, the only reason I would suggest picking three places is if you can throw that in the regulations and people can read and know it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. So. So okay. I would say the town hall, the post office, and the and public library. Yeah. Okay. So I would move that we change the noticing requirements to delete the newspaper notification and to include three paper postings at the post office, town hall, and public library. As per, as per the RSA that enables us to do so. Okay. Can you need a second on that? And I'll second that. All right. So um, I don't think I have to do roll call because we're not. Uh, so all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. So the ayes have it, and the motion carries. Great. All right. Um, has anyone had a chance to look at the minutes from August 3rd, 2021? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone have any comments on them or corrections? No. All right. Uh, so would someone like to make a, make a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion. We approve the minutes as written. All right. Is there a second? All right. Thank you. Uh, all in favor say aye. All right. aye. Aye. All opposed? All right. That carries. All right. Thank you. Unanimously. Um, any uh, correspondence, Caroline? Only um, just briefly referencing the email that I sent the board about, um, from New Hampshire DES about the um, notice of intent for disturbing more than, I think it's 12,000 square feet, um, which refers to the single family dwelling proposed for um, the lot on Bear Road. So there's no action to be taken, it's just a, a point of notification that. The applicant has more work to do with the state, and I'm sure we'll get an update about that when there is one. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Um, and you'll have to forgive me, uh, Caroline, is that also the same thing as LSWB? No, so um, thank you. That's a different thing that I just wanted to update this group about, which is that um, there is a subcommittee of um, Stratford Regional Planning, um, which um, relates to a grant that they received on behalf of Rollinsford and Milton combined to um, address local source water protection. That's the, S um, the LSWP, um, local source water protection grant from New Hampshire DES, which fulfills a stormwater um, permit requirement that is um, come due to um, make sure that our planning regulations include stormwater regulation requirements. So we've had a couple of meetings now. It's very informative and helpful. Uh, the end result will be that Stratford Regional Planning, they're auditing our, our, our planning regulations, um, site review and, and subdivision regulations, and they will propose um, updates for this body to consider adopting um, as a minimum standard that is stormwater compliant, but also extra um, extra levels of enforcement that this body could choose to um, include in the regulations should you choose to. Um, and, and we can talk about those when the time comes. Um, they may, be, may or may not be found to be burdensome to property owners, they mostly relate to commercial and industrial properties, um, but, but the point is there is some discretion with how, um, how stringent we choose to make the regulations. Um, when the time comes, I would just remind this group that it's not often we get a chance to work with an outside organization to get the help to review our regulations in this way. and. I, I would um, encourage the board to um, move towards stricter regulations in as much as you think that it's reasonable just because stormwater regulations get stricter every year. So, uh, you know, that will keep us more compliant longer. Of course, there's the benefits of the earth. Um, development pressures are, are strong. So I don't think there's a huge deterrent with that necessarily, but you can certainly discuss that when the, when the time comes. Tom is serving on that subcommittee along with George Kilmet, our road agent, and Kevin Haynes has been serving on that committee on behalf of the planning board. So, um, in, in light of that deep felt loss of, of Kevin that we've just learned about, um, I just wanted to take a, a, a minute to recognize that Kevin served on this board for, for many years and as an extension of this board on the CIP committee, um, I think since its inception in 2014, and, and also now on, on this other grant subcommittee, but he, he's been very, I, I think, um, a little bit quiet in his dedicated service, but um, one of the humblest, um, most dedicated volunteers I've met, so I just wanted to call that out. It's very accurate. Uh, he had a tremendous amount of knowledge that uh, contributed to the board. The, 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 it's a great loss. There's no question about that. All right. Um, uh, one more update that I'd just like to pass by this group. Um, in, in, um, in, in light of the full-time vacancy now on this board, um, and, and also um, me leaving this position and so many new members um, in this group. I am suggesting, um, if there's no objection from you all, to ask the select board to appoint Miles England to this group. Um, as he's no longer on the select board, sure. he's, he's eligible to serve here, but also since he's been on the CIP committee himself for a number of years, that would be um, really important for that group since they have not yet wrapped up their process. Um, rather than starting from scratch this year with a new member, um, that still leaves a vacancy on that um, local source water protection grant subcommittee for 
a member of this group, if there's somebody who is generally interested in regulations and um, planning, um, you know, the role of planning with stormwater um, oversight and, and conversely stormwater requirements and the planning regulations. There, there needs to be a consistent tie and, and I think that's a really um, tall order to ask of a volunteer to serve not just on the planning board but also to perhaps either also serve on the stormwater committee or else otherwise um, stay versed in, um, in, in what goes on with that permit because um, they are very connected and they've been very separate in, in Rollinsford. So that's something in, in one way or another I hope gets corrected. But in the short term, that subcommittee needs to continue. There are only four members on that committee and, and now they're down to two. All right, I think your suggestion of Miles is a, a fantastic one. I think he was chair. chairman, chair and, uh, before you were chair. Uh, so uh, I think it would be fantastic for uh, other members of the board that aren't familiar with Miles. So great job. Uh, so um, it's not in my bandwidth to take on more uh, than I personally have with the town, but I don't know if anybody else has any availability or willingness. Um, People can think it over. Do you have to make a decision today for folks? Or? Um, not right now, but at the same time, that, that committee is trying to meet in early October. So I would say this group needs to make some kind of decision in early October, you know, at the next meeting, if not tonight. Okay. Can I, I know, I mean, I can't be on it because I'm not a resident, but if they haven't decided, can I go and just like, get information to fill in the board or I don't think there's a conflict of that of that if there's no if, you if know. somebody doesn't want to volunteer it. Sure. I, I think there's help you know I think that's helpful although I think that's a short term stop gap which yeah. should really be replaced with you know a resident member. Um, the the other thing I'll say about it is um, this is supposed to go on until about the middle of twenty two you know, 2022. It is not a long-term commitment, although it's longer than, you know, one more meeting for sure. So, you know, while I appreciate that, I also think it's more, you know, it's important for them to have a consistent number to see through the process. Can I ask a question? Certainly. How many times do they, how many times do they meet? They've been meeting once monthly. They've met twice already. So and, it's and a once a month commitment, more or less? More or less, yes. There's not really outside work to do. It's similar, if you would, you're familiar with Kyle from that's all you've served on, the hazard mitigation mm -hmm. plan subcommittee. Um, it's, it's similar, um, but actually in, in a way less formal than that because it's a smaller group. But um, so Kyle and um, and Autumn um, from Strap Regional Planning, they're really doing the legwork and just checking in with us about um, the town's values around this, this, that, or the other thing, or how we handle you know, this, that, or the other thing. Um, is it, you know, is to it kind of look for direction. Is it, is it conducted via Zoom? Or via no, it is, it is an in-person meeting. It is in person. It is in person and, and they um, have been very good to keep it to an hour. And if I can add, um, most of the work is being done by them, but we're just reviewing the information that they provide and mm -hmm. they, you know, offer suggestions. They've had a couple of really great, um, I think, discoveries in the, or lack thereof, in the ordinance. So they're doing a, a really good job. Mm -hmm. But it is, they are the ones doing most of the work. Okay. Well, I'm contemplating. Can I give us some thought? Certainly. I make a commitment this night. But I, I, I think it's a lot to ask for anybody to, you know, jump on a commitment with not a lot of thought. So I appreciate that. Um, but I do, like I said, Sarah, if you could go on the October agenda, um, just because I, you know, it's important to get back to them as soon as we can. And then Tom, if you can communicate back to them sure. what that decision is. And this is filling the position for the. Um, yes. Thank you. All right. So I think it. Um,
this point be appropriate to entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting? So I'll have to make that motion. All right. All right, thank you. Is there a second? Second. All right, thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. The ayes have it. Thank, thank you all you. very much.